Hi there. Now for this question, we're told that in an arithmetic progression, the sum of the first 10 terms is 400 and the sum of the next 10 terms is 1000. And we've got to find the common difference in the first term for five marks. So if you'd like to give this a go, haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. Well, the answers to these questions is that the first term given by A is 13 and the common difference given by D is 6. So if you didn't get these answers or just want to see how I went about it, I'll show you. First of all, you've got to be familiar with the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic progression. It's given by this formula here. You generally find this formula in most formula books. The sum of the first n terms, Sn, is equal to the number of terms, n, divided by 2. And it's all multiplied by twice the first term, plus n minus 1 times the common difference, d. So if we use this formula, we're given that the sum of the first 10 terms is 400. OK, that was up here. And so with this, this means that if we apply this formula, we've got 10 divided by 2. OK, I know that's 5. I'll just write that in, though, just so you can see the working. 10 divided by 2, all multiplied with twice the first term. So that's going to be 2a plus n minus 1. So that would be 10 minus 1. That would be 9 times the common difference d. And this equals 400. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. Let's just cancel that out. OK, so 2 into 2 goes 1. 2 into 10 goes 5. So if we multiply the bracket by 5, we therefore get 10a plus 45d. And that equals 400. Now we've got one equation, two unknowns, A and D, so we're not going to get very far in trying to solve for A and D. We need to find another equation. So what I'll do is I'll put this on hold. Let's say we call it equation 1. And we need to get another equation then. So how do we get that? Well, it's from this next statement. We're told that the sum of the next 10 terms is 1,000. Now that means, remember, Sn gives the sum of the first n terms. So what we're looking at here is the sum of the first 20 terms, OK? The sum of the first 20 terms, that's the sum of the first 10 plus the next 10. So it's going to be 400 plus 1,000. In other words, the sum of the first 20 is going to be 1,400. And we can now use this formula again and create another equation. And that formula is going to be n over 2, so it'll be 20 divided by 2, all multiplied with twice the first term, 2a then, plus n minus 1, so n is 20, so you're going to have 19 here, multiplied by the common difference. And that's going to equal 1,400. And so, again, if I cancel through here, 2 into 20 goes 10 times. So we can expand the bracket, multiply it out by 10, and therefore we get 20a plus 190d equals 1,400. OK? And we'll call that equation 2. Now, there's various ways of solving simultaneous equations. And I'll leave it up to you to possibly do it a different way to what I'm going to do. But um, I'm going to eliminate the A terms here. I'm going to take equation 1 and double it, OK? So we'll just say that that's what we're doing here. We'll take equation 1 and double it, times it by 2. And that will give me 20A then, OK, plus 90D if I double the 45, and if I double the 400, that's going to equal 800. So that's a new equation, so I will call that equation 3. 
I'm going to stick with equation 2. We've got 20a there. So I'm just going to put equation 2 there. If you like, I'm just multiplying it by 1. OK, it just remains the same. OK, so it's 20a plus 190d equals 1400. And because I haven't changed that, I'm just going to call it equation 2 still. So I'm going to do equation 2 because it's got bigger numbers in, take away equation 3. So if we do equation 2, take away equation 3, what do we get? Well, the a's get eliminated. 20a minus 20a is 0a. Then we've got 190d minus 90d, so that's going to give me 100d. And that's going to equal 1,400, take away 800, which is 600. And if I divide both sides by 100, we now get that D equals 600 divided by 100, which is 6. And I can get A very easily just by substituting then D equals 6 into any equation. I'm going to go directly into equation 1 though. Just feel that would be easier to work with. And if we do that, we're therefore going to have 10A plus 45 then multiplied by D, which is now 6, equals 400. And that gives us 10A and 45 times 6 is 270. And that equals the 400. If I take away 270 from both sides, that gives me 10A equals 400 take away 270, which is 130. And if I now divide both sides by 10, a equals 13. So in summary then, therefore we've got A equals 13, that's the first term, and the common difference D is 6. Alright?